Hey everyone, hope you are having a fantastic day guys. Welcome back to the MGN Destiny 2 YouTube channel. In this video today, I am going to be showing you how to obtain the new Lament Sword Exotic. Guys, this quest went live as soon as the world's first team completed the new raid. And yeah, this is exactly how you get it. So when you log into the game, you're going to get a pop-up say that the quest is available now. It's going to ask you to go ahead and speak to Banshee44. Banshee44 is going to start off the quest for you and the first step is going to require you to find three dead exos on Europa. From here, we'll launch in. If you follow me on screen right now, you'll locate the first of three exos. Now, there are more exos in the Europa world, but for now, I'm just going to show you the three that you'll need. The second one you want to head into the Lost Sector, now you do not have to launch the legendary Lost Sector, literally just walk into the Lost Sector and follow me on screen here. And that is the second exo just on the left hand side as you walk into the final boss room. Go back to Charon's Crossing and head right as soon as you spawn in. This one's one of the easier ones to get. And that is the third EXO. So once you've got all three EXOs, it's going to ask you to go and find a giant EXO. Now on your map, there's going to be a waypoint marker guiding you exactly where to find it. Or you can just follow me on screen right now as I'm heading there as well. After the world's first team completed the raid, it really opened up this entire area and this really gives you a sense of scale of how big this place really is. And I think it's incredible. I think it's one of the best locations in the game. Europa is truly amazing. So much to explore, so much to see. So 
So directly in front of us right now is the giant exo head. Go on over and interact with it. So once you've spoken with the giant exo head, it's actually going to activate the next quest step for you, which is going to require you to kill some vex with swords, uh, including minotaurs, hydras, cyclopses, all with final blows as well. So we're actually going to be heading on into a lost sector to do this one. Lost sectors are going to be your best friend in this entire quest line. Head on back over to Charon's Crossing and we're going to be going into the same Lost Sector that you saw earlier in the video. Again, you do not have to run the legendary Lost Sector. Quite literally just run in with a sword. It might be worth equipping some mods so that you can carry extra sword ammo. So once you've completed that, it will activate the next quest step, which is going to be you completing a EXO challenge. Head on back to Varix and he will actually give a quest which is actually an exo challenge itself. Don't worry if you don't have this quest. If you look left on your Europa destinations, there will be a waypoint to go do another exo challenge if you haven't got this one. So I've set the marker. I'm going to head on over to the exo challenge as we speak and get that started. I have to say, the quest line for this exotic sword is one of the best quest lines we've ever had in Destiny. Uh, some of the things you get to do and see in this entire quest line is absolutely phenomenal. It introduces you to the new Exo facility as you've already seen. Uh, this Exo challenge takes you to an entirely new world which is very pyramid related. As you're about to see on screen now. This was a fun challenge, you had to stand next to the fire to cool yourself down, otherwise you shiver from frostbite. And if your modifier gets too high because of how cold you're getting, you can die. So you want to make sure that you stand next to a fire. Also, when you kill enemies in this challenge as well, they drop uh, things that can cool you down as well. So a really, really fun mechanic. So once you reach the end, it's going to ask you to defeat the boss, which is a Hydra. A chest will spawn just like in typical Nightfall or Strike fashion or even Lost Sector fashion, open that up and that will activate the next quest step for you. So the next quest step is actually fairly easy. It's going to require you to kill Vex with finishers. And again, we're going to be doing this in a Lost Sector. It's going to be the same Lost Sector that you've seen throughout this entire video. The reason why it's a good idea to do this sort of thing in Lost Sectors is because it means that you've got all the Vex to yourself. You're not going to have people in the open world come over and steal your kills. You can quite literally just use the entire area to yourself with no stress, no worry about someone else coming along. And just take it as slow as you want, no panic, no rush, and you can get all the finishers that you need. So after getting the last finisher, it's going to proc the next quest step, which is going to require you to find blade pieces. Now. In order to do this, you have to launch the Glassway Strike. Now, the Glassway Strike is something that appears on Europa's map. Quite literally, just click on that and launch it. Um, this was a weird one. I got to the final boss section at the very end, and it literally just dropped me. As you guys can see on screen right now, I didn't do anything, and it just appeared. So once you've got the Lost Lament, which is what drops you at the end of the strike, head on back to Banshee 44. And that will activate the next quest step, which is going to require you to explore the abandoned bunker. If you follow me on screen right now, I'll show you exactly where that is.
So once you enter the Lost Sector, quite literally just play it all the way through until the very end and kill the boss at the end that activates the chest for you to collect loot. Once you've looted the Lost Sector, it activates the next quest step, which requires you to launch a quest which is just outside the Lost Sector called Lost Lament. Now this was actually quite a fun quest as well, it takes you to your own instance and you actually get to drive around in a tank and run over a Vex, which is always fun. The more Vex you kill, the higher your percentage goes on the left and that will activate the next quest step for you, which requires you to go on over to Clovis Brain and forge the blade. So as you can see the blade has just been forged directly in front of me. Quite literally all you need to do is you need to defend Clovis. The more you defend him the more he is getting your weapon ready for you. And after about maybe 2 minutes of killing enemies the lament is ready for you to use. Then you can hack and slash away all you want. I actually thought the lament was really really cool. Um, it takes down barriers so it's going to be really useful in higher level nightfalls for anti-barrier champions and things like that. And it looks really cool when you charge it up and do a twist in the air and then slam down with the sword. We've never had that before, it's very original. I thought it was great. So once you've defended Clovis Bray with the Lament, just go back and speak to Banshee and you're done. You now have the Lament at your disposal. I honestly think that this is one of the best quests we've had in such a long time. This is des this is definitely something that Destiny needed. Guys, I want to thank you so much. I really hope you found this video useful. And I'll see you in whichever Destiny 2 video I next make. Guys, please stay safe out there and take care of yourselves.